Well, they are heels. Okay, so Twilight Ruins, cool map. I like to see it. Yeah. What's the deal with this 20 FPS, bro? I'm not liking that. No, that's messed up my position there as well. I'm sure that 20 FPS will sort it out itself out, hopefully. There we go, suddenly back up to 60 FPS, and you can see the difference. Oh my. Well, more or less 60 anyway. It wasn't gone that long, blimey! Taking someone else's base, they're gone for like a second. His base is mine! It's mine now. Alrighty, um... I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Neutral hero though, so I don't really need to build that much. And it'll be ghouls to start off with because they'll get me off to a good start in terms of whatever it is I'm trying to do. And I've got an idea, but it depends on what the enemy are doing, so we'll see how things go, basically. How the game plays out. Okay, neutral hero is going to be needed. Past that point, pretty straightforward, really. Where is it? Middle. Hmm. Okay, I might get an acolyte because I'm probably going to go for an expansion. I always do, so I may as well get an acolyte heading towards the middle. I'd like to get graveyard like here or something. So, time of relics there will do nicely. And make sure I'm still producing ghouls. Okay. I'll read out the strategy, but whether I get to do it or not, I don't know. Shetland boy. Don't know. This would be a good strategy, or if it has been done. But you might have fun doing it. I thought of mass banshees. Possess a few shark series and make all of your banshees invisible. Then sneak up on your victim and possess his army. Well... If that's what you want me to do, Shetland boy, then maybe I'll give it a go. But of course it depends on whether they actually go... Um, I know one of them is human. I saw that on the map. I will. We're going to have a bit of a contest here, are we? Let's do this! Your wisp is mine. Okay. That looks like I win that one. I'll pull my ghouls up as well, get some acolytes, probably an idea to come back and get the um, skeletal rod, but it's not really that useful because if I actually get every hit on the black arrow there won't be any corpses, but I'll do it anyway. I'll get another, just in case, so I can keep getting ghouls, I like to make sure I can buy everything. Part of me wants to hang back just for the dust of appearance as well, just in case I get Blade Master harassed. But yes, as I was saying, I'm going to need a human enemy that gets sorks and upgrades them because you need the invisible, which is like the next upgrade. They don't get it for free. Hmm, that's handy little critter. I can get skeletons from that at the very least. Very handy. Careful where you're going, Acolyte. Alrighty. Nice. It's going down nice and quickly. Pick up the item, please. Move on to the next one. Did you even say to get Dark Ranger? Honestly, can't remember now. I was messing around too much with Australia. Yeah, no, nah, you didn't really mention the hero, so the Dark Ranger seems like a good fit for this. So I've got no qualms. I'll go Dark Ranger. Lots of ghouls for the wood. Will this ever end? Won't need a shredder, I don't think. This will be one game where I don't need to worry about getting a shredder. Because I have so many ghouls, I'll just amass so much wood. And then uh, that'll do it. That'll do it! I'm going to want to do some decent creek camps. Potentially that bit, because you can get a nice item. Uh, the shop can give you a nice item, potentially. I'm going to bring in some more goos and send a couple back. I want three back at least. And uh, yeah, try to pick up the item. Don't worry, I haven't completely forgotten about it. Probably silence is still the best. Just for overall control. Acolytes are asking for trouble. 
Let's try and bring this guy down quickly. He does a nasty AoE. Don't particularly want him getting away with too many of them. They all do an AoE, as you can see. They're a bit of a pain like that. That's okay. I should start being a bit more selective with that black arrow, but it requires skill. And skill is something I don't always want to have. Boost of speed is always good. I might just go harass an expansion. I might be able to get a lot of skeletons out of that. Potentially. If I'm lucky. Get a skeleton from that. Ooh. Oh, unlucky, mate. Unlucky. That is not going up. I can tell you that for sure. Oh my goodness, I didn't get to kill that thing and I can't even target now. Yeah, this is so unlucky for him, because there's no way that's going up. Not in a million years. Let's get this built up. Oh, I'm going to lose a few ghouls, though. He'll get that out of me, at least. And even if you do that, that's what the dust of appearance is for. Oh, no. I'm not getting gangbanged, am I now? I'm getting gangbanged. That didn't dare gangbang. I think I'll just run now. That ghoul's gone. Meanwhile, banshees are just possessing sorks. I'm just going for possession, so I don't really need any upgrades, but I'm tempted to get upgrades for ghouls just because they're useful to have. I'm going to send this skeleton to this expansion down here whilst I go and try over here because I can always start a teleport out but the skeleton isn't going to last forever anyway not, he's probably not even going to reach it oh more night elves it's not much good is it I need freaking units I can kill and turn into skeletons I'm going to have to teleport to this guy now if I want to make it in time and see if there's anything good here. Undead, that's a bit better, but has he got towers? No, he does not. Upgrade complete. That'll do. I'll have your acolytes, please. Meanwhile, you're a little bit preoccupied with my buddies down there, so this is pretty handy for some harass time. Oh, nice. Level 2 skellies now. Stepping it up a notch. Three acolytes. No one bothering me because they've already come back and bothered me multiple times beforehand. And now they're... Oh, here we go. That's a lot of skeletons. I'll be able to surround that fiend soon. and probably get a free kill off of that if he's not careful. Oh, there's a little gap down there. I just noticed that at the last moment, but I'm just going to stick on this feed now. Kind of lazily auto-attack him since my failed harass slash um, surround. Could possibly get the DK. Depends how long any of these skeletons are going to last. <laughs> That's, that DK isn't looking too healthy. You shouldn't be able to escape from that. Oh, of course, there's a tiny little gap that allows him to escape, of course. Bloody course. Nah, he's getting out. De Death Knights must have, like, the tiniest sort of path. I have this experience with Death Knights. They just always seem to escape the tiniest little uh, pathways. I'm going to get in there and try and get some acolytes. It's not really a good place to fight, but there's the possibility that I could pick off another acolyte or two. If I can do that, then I will. And that guy's on our side as well, and he's got a lot of freaking fiends, so it's looking good. Orange is going very heavy on that Death Knight. He's already used to healing potion, so I'm not sure if it's off cooldown yet, so he might go down. No, just slightly coming off cooldown now. Alright, keep getting those acolytes. That. Doing really well for resources. Hmm. I'm going to sit on those uh, acolytes then and try and get me some more skeletons. Whilst he's busy. <laughs> Whilst he's a little preoccupied over there. I wonder if he's going to sacrifice his death knight here. He's getting a little bit cocky there. Don't think you were paying enough attention there, my boy. 
not enough attention. Any items here? Mana Stone would be a good item. I'm actually going to see if I can pop in there and buy that, even though I've got the enemy on me. Because it's just that good to have on a Dark Ranger. Wisp Shims. So if nothing else, the Banshees will be useful for the um, anti-magic shield. Now where is the human? I haven't been able to keep many tabs on him, but like I say, that strategy is awesome if I can get to do your strategy, Shetland. But it all... Do oh, he's going tanks. I mean, that's very annoying because tanks are very good. But, um, you know, I don't see any Sorks, and I can't force him to go Sorks unless I can get one of his peasants and then make him get Sorks, and then I can get more Sorks myself. Let me get that one kill before he comes in and hits me with a Storm Bolt or something. Uh, got some very defensive allies, you know? It's not even him who's defending. Um, him who's t TPing back to defend himself. I don't see any Sorks. Is he being fed? Five workshops. There's going to be a lot of tanks. I'm going to start getting meat wagons, to be honest, because um, we're going to need them. Although that's a lot of bears I could potentially possess, and they'll be good. So I'm thinking about that. No, I might still stick on the Banshee parade here. I'm on the outside, so I'm probably going to get attacks. So time to get some towers as well. Yeah, there's too much night off going on. I can't harass him very comfortably. I need to get to an orc. We don't have an orc ally. Human will have to do, but has he even got a shop? I don't even see a shop. How can you not have a shop as a human? Research complete. That's pretty annoying. If that is your wish. I still got a skeleton here. I didn't even remember about him. It's too late to TP to him, unfortunately. Would have been awesome. Someone was just there a moment ago. There's a lot of banshees. Let's start getting that mana plowing in. Keep those banshees going up. It's probably going to be Till TPing in again. We'll see. Yeah. Read you like a freaking book. And he knows I want to get out. He can't stop me from getting out there. So that's fine. I'll just start a teleport out. And I'll take some pots. Hmm. I won't worry about all the corruption. Right. What must I do? Well, I think it's going to take too long to get the Sorks. I might just be able to straight up go for those bears. I've definitely got the possibility to do that. So I'm going to try it. But I've got to get him into a position where I can do it, where he can't kill my Banshees. This is going to be very, very... It could go either way. Oh, here come the mass tanks, which is why I've got the towers. I told you. Read this stuff a million miles away. I can't do anything about it with just banshees. I really need someone to come in and help me out. I'm trying to bring down that mountain king. He's going to pass the tall. No, he's not going to be able to pass it over. Get the mountain king. I've now got my owner. Yeah, that's going down. I should have started repairing that earlier, but it's okay. I've got all the buildings I need to build. Oh, the Archmage is going down, so we're going to get all of this. They're all completely blocked. If I bring in this unit here, you can't actually escape with any of that stuff. Oh, I thought I might even get to keep my main there for a moment. But okay, he lost everything there. I'm not sure that was quite worth it. No, he lost too much there. Although you will get my um, gold mine because I wasn't paying attention to that. No, you won't actually because I am repairing it now. Now I am. Very close. I really want to find Teal and he's over here. There's a lot of shims by him though. I can't really risk that too much. Where 
expect more tanks come in, so I'm probably going to get killed eventually, because Undead can't really do much about it until I can get an army. Now I need to get fortunate enough that I can bump into Teal, take all of his bears and not be bothered by mass shims, because shims will insta-give my... Um, well, actually, not if I... What the hell is this now? Yes. Not if I put anti-magic shield, they won't. That is your wish. Our town is must obey. Why what I must I do? End my Come on, you're almost in range. He's not doing it. Depends. I don't know where that purple guy is. Here come the tanks. Oh no, it's not tanks. It's just an annoying mob. Bears are over there. You're not giving me much to work with here. <laughs> not quite in range. Oh, there we go. Nice. I hate those creeps when they just keep attacking. He's losing all of his bears. I'm going to have nothing to possess anyway. I'm not going to get any bears. I've got all these banshees and I can't freaking do anything with them. Huh. Lots more uh, tanks coming out. Oh, that's a lot of shims. I don't feel comfortable fighting versus that. Unless we've got the uh, fiends. We need the fiends. Get the fiends in there, my boy. Go with your fiends. Go with your fiends. Yeah, there's the web. Come on. Don't tell me you don't have web, Red. You must have web. How could you not have web? How could you not have web? Oh my god. Now he's got web. Wow, that was a lot of potential kills that we could have had there for free. Fucking use that web. That range is coming along quite nicely though. And this anti-magic shield is um, really doing its thing. I haven't really got to possess, uh, well not that much, but heck, this is the anti-magic shield strategy apparently. Because that bloody worked nicely, didn't it? Made all those shims completely and utterly useless. <laughs> and there we go. And they're off. So this is now the anti-magic shield strategy. Five workshops. I don't think we were going to see any sorceresses from him anytime soon. I may as well try and possess something, but it takes a long time. It would have to be one of those games which just sort of go on for ages for me to get away with um, possessing a unit and then taking up to tier two or three with that human, said human unit. I can't get the dryads. Managed to save a peon. I'll start building my town hall now. <laughs> get some farms. In fact, no, I'll get um, an altar. So I can potentially get a hero with him. i got charm now. Can't use it on the shredder. That's what I want to use it on. Oh, he's freaking going for my peasant. This is what happens. You put all that effort into trying to get that, and they still just really make sure that you can't get away with it. Oh, 
Get that mana from them banshees. I can use charm on the banshee, which is interesting because they're magic immune, but not immune enough apparently to charm. I know the enemies were trolling, but any magic shield. If we didn't have that, this game could have been a little bit more different. So it's actually very useful. So well done, Shetland boy, for your anti-magic shield strategy. <laughs> Clearly, very good. Oh well, it's still a good game. Just different, that's all. Alright, thank you for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you later. Troll, 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 troll. I used to be a troll rag. Troll, 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 troll. Oh, cool. I'm not, I ain't got time. Uh, I was in um, one of the top guns. Do you know Method? Method, 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 Method. Oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god, oh my god. It sounds pretty good.